Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today we're finally starting the guest bedroom makeover here at the lake house. I'm so excited. This room is pretty much a blank slate. It's very basic. We haven't made any changes to it since we moved in. So I'm really excited to bring it up to par and make it feel a lot more cohesive with the rest of the house. We're gonna be doing budget-friendly decorating, DIY projects, and totally transforming this space on a budget. So if you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And I want to give a huge thank you to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is what our guest room is looking like right now. To me, it feels very detached from the rest of the house. If you've seen my lake house makeover videos, you know I love a cozy, collected, a little bit more of a warmer color palette, and this room is far from that. It's very basic and plain. We're working with an Ikea bed, two side tables, a couple lamps, and a gold sliding door. So I think with just a few little touches, we can completely transform this space. I'm not gonna be buying any new furniture, so we're going to be using everything we have to make over this space. The living room downstairs is the space that's really inspiring the guest room. This is my favorite room in the house. It's very cozy. I love the color scheme. I love the collected art and all of the vintage inspired pieces. So I want to mimic this look in the guest room as well. Before starting any project, I always head over to Pinterest to really hone in on a design plan. I'm going after a modern cottage look. Modern pieces mixed with cottage inspiration to really come together in a beautiful way. All right, let's get this room cleared out so we can get some paint up on the walls. wall I'm going to be painting in here is this back wall where the bed's going to be. This is the only wall in the entire room that's actually wood paneling so it has really beautiful texture to it and I want to bring that out even more. Right now since it's painted white it looks really nice but it kind of just blends into the rest of the room so I think this accent wall is really going to bring this space to life and introduce a new color. So I picked up a little sample from Benjamin Moore and I'm going to go with the color Fox Hollow Brown. And I chose this color because it's kind of a secondary accent color that I use around the house. And I really love this vase from downstairs in my living room. So we're gonna pull this color into this room and use this as the accent wall. Look at that color match. I brought a few samples home to figure it out and this one ended up being perfect. I headed back into my local Benjamin Moore to finalize my paint selection and get all the supplies I needed. 7,500 Benjamin Moore locations are actually independently owned, so when you buy a can of Benjamin Moore paint, you can feel good about supporting a local small business. I always love going in stores to the Benjamin Moore retailers so I can talk with the knowledgeable paint experts. They can help you pick which sheen you should be getting and pick out all the right paint that's gonna be perfect for your project. Ooh, look at that color. I think it's gonna be so pretty up on the walls. I ended up going with the Benjamin Moore Regal Select line in an eggshell finish. I wanted some durability to the wall and I think having a little bit of sheen to it's gonna highlight all the panels a little bit more. I always start out by painting the corners and edges, and this time since we're painting paneling, I'm going in and painting all of the crevices and grooves between the panels so then we can roll the paint on smoothly. Wow, Benjamin Moore paint goes on so smoothly and it has amazing coverage. This is just one coat of paint across the entire wall and it's pretty much all covered. So I'm gonna go in with a second coat just to smooth it all out and make sure it's completely even. Check out Benjamin Moore's e-store to find your own paint samples and to find a local store near you. All right, so it's day two of this makeover. All of the painting is done and oh my goodness, look at this wall color. Isn't it so dramatic? I'm still trying to figure out, is it brown? Is it purple? Is it mauve? Is it pink? Is it all of those things? <laughs> Fox Hollow Brown is a very unique color, but it's deep and moody, but still muted and pretty. So it's kind of all the things I was going for. I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna tie together all of the new pieces really nicely. So next step, we're working on the bed. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna keep the bed, if I'm going to make over the bed and do a little DIY project or get a new bed. So I'm gonna push it into place so we can figure it out together. 
Okay, now seeing the bed in place against the new wall color, it's really clashing and it's just not the right style. I'm thinking we either redo the headboard to make it look softer, like an upholstered headboard, or we buy an entirely new bed. I think we could save time and money by trying to give the headboard a makeover, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I literally have this big long piece of foam. I could just cut it to size and I think this could definitely work. I've never upholstered anything, but I think I really need to try because that would be a good life skill to have. So I think I'm gonna go for it and make over this headboard. I'm on the hunt for a creamy linen fabric, something that's going to pop against the dark wall, but add some texture in. So I love the look of linen. It's very timeless, it's very expensive looking, and to find a beautiful linen headboard is very pricey. So being able to make one is way more affordable. I'm picking up the fabric, also some batting and a staple gun, and getting the fabric cut to size. All of these supplies here ended up costing me $70. So we're practically getting a new headboard for $70. So I measured out the foam piece to cut it exactly to size so it matched up to my existing headboard. I just used a piece of tape to make a perfect line and cut it with scissors. I know you're not technically supposed to cut your foam with scissors, but that's all I had. I sprayed my headboard with upholstery adhesive. This stuff is really sticky and it's gonna make sure that the foam stays in place. You can spray the foam and your headboard to really make sure it's secure. And that way you don't have to worry about it shifting around. Now to round out the edges of this cushion and to make it look extra plump and soft, I'm wrapping it in upholstery batting and attaching it all with this staple gun. I've never used a staple gun before. It felt like it took a lot of hand strength, but it goes directly into this Ikea wood bed. So it made wrapping this headboard really easy. Okay, wow. I am so impressed with myself right now. I was so nervous to do this and the back looks like it was definitely my first time doing this, but the front looks so good. I can't believe it. We even got a few more inches in height to the headboard, which I'm really liking. This looks incredible. I should have done this way sooner. Now we're just gonna wrap the whole thing in this beautiful linen and it's going to look incredible. If you're new to upholstering, just make sure that you order enough fabric that you'll be able to pull it around the back of your piece and staple it down in place. This is exactly what I was looking for. That saved me so much time and money, and I'm just thrilled with the way it looks. If you guys have a headboard that you're not really loving the look of, upholster it like this, pick out a fabric that you really love, and you can get that look for less as well. Again, just trying to make use of everything that I already had. So I brought back the side tables that we used before. These used to be in my living room, but they work perfectly as nightstands. I don't need any storage in here really since it's a guest room. So side tables are a great alternative. I still have to get the wall plates back on there because I want to paint them so you won't be able to see them as much. So ignore that. Now when it comes to lighting, if I did two table lamps, one on either side of the bed, it would keep all of the details on this wall really low. We have so much more height in here to work with, so I'm actually gonna be opting for wall sconces that are gonna be installed up around here. The finish matches the sliding closet perfectly, so it just really adds in that brass finish throughout the rest of the room, so it ties it all together. So I'm gonna be hanging these about two feet up from the top of the nightstand and one foot away from the headboard edge. That way it's at a comfortable reaching distance to turn on and off. Every time I hang anything on the wall, I always hang a piece of tape first. I mark it out to see exactly where the holes need to be so I don't end up making markings and holes all over my wall. and making it look a little bit more seamless, but this just added such an elegant touch to this space. Mm -hmm. 
Now I wanna to tie together some of these black details into the curtain rod right here. So I'm gonna be hanging this long curtain rod as high as I can above the window here. Unfortunately, this window goes right to the corner, which is just the most awkward placement, but I still think some drapes running down the side will really soften the look of this whole wall. I ordered these cream linen curtains off of Amazon and they came as a pair for $19, which is such an amazing price. They're 90 inch long curtains. They don't have any grommets or anything, which I really like. And they literally match the headboard pretty much exactly. That's gonna nicely balance out the linen texture around the whole room. Okay, we've installed most of the big things. Now time to bring in something that I think is really gonna pull it all together, and that's the rug. The rug was one of the first things that I picked out for the room. I love the color and the style, and it really mixes all of the colors and finishes we're using in here together. So I think it's the perfect find. Now I'm just gonna tape the corners down with some rug tape so that they don't move and no one trips. All right, now we need to get some art up on these walls to kind of balance out all the colors around the room. I already have a bunch of frames because I'm always collecting them for makeovers like this. These are all Ikea frames. I have the black, the gold, and the white, and I love mixing those all together so it looks kind of collected. And I have these two picture ledges, which actually match the floor perfectly. So bringing these up onto the wall is really gonna help balance out the room. So I wanted this top picture ledge to be for frames and art, and then I wanted to hang a second one a little bit closer like this, and maybe this can be more like a shelf to hold guest room necessities. So I'm actually gonna go online and download some digital art to print out and put inside. I love finding very affordable digital downloads on Etsy. I downloaded all these different vintage paintings for just $3 each. That way, once you have them downloaded in every size you want, you can go ahead and go get them printed. I always ask for them to be printed on matte paper so that you don't get any gloss or sheen to them. It just gives off a little bit more of a realistic vintage painting look and the prints just turn out so incredible. You can see all the paint and brush strokes and there's so much texture to them. We have a ton of sailboats on the lake, so that kind of brings out that. I love this country landscape with some water. And I had to get this duck sketch, because if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen we have baby ducks outside. They are so cute, so I had to get that printed in honor of our little ducks. Now I already had these wall hooks here from Ikea and I'm gonna be installing them underneath the artwork on this wall. This is a small wall, but I wanna use these hooks to fill it out a little bit more and add some extra vertical storage space. These are gonna allow any guests to hang bags or even a little laundry basket like this. I love hanging laundry baskets so you can keep them off the floor and it keeps the room tidy as guests stay. And just above the pictures, I installed this little picture light. This is a battery powered rechargeable picture light. It comes in different finishes. You can kind of swivel the head to point the light wherever you want, but this is gonna add a little bit more glow to this side of the room, emphasize the artwork, and balance out all the light throughout the space. All right, it's the fourth and final day of this makeover. Today we're finishing it off by concealing cords, finishing off the bed, adding all the pretty little details in here that are gonna bring this whole space together. Also, I cannot wait to reveal this room to Christian. He has not seen it since we began, and I didn't even tell him the design plan, so I think it's gonna be a total shock. I can't wait to see his reaction to this new space. 
Now to hide the messy look of these cords running down the wall, we're gonna be using paintable cord concealers as well as paintable wall outlet cover plates. That way you won't be able to see any of the messiness. We're painting them the same color as the wall so it all seamlessly blends in. This little detail is gonna go a really long way and just elevate the look of the space so much more. Hiding cords, concealing your wall cover plates just gives off a little bit more of a finished look. Now just underneath these wood shelves and by the bathroom door, I'm bringing in this little bench. I've had this bench for years and it's moved from room to room around the house, but it fits perfectly in this room. It matches the color of the carpet really well. It brings out those blue grays and it's a perfect place to hold shoes, hold your bags, or even style some rolled towels. To tie in the olive tree we have downstairs in the living room, I got a smaller size for this room. I love that it brings in this European look and I just love the muted sage green in the leaves. I'm using a lot of the bedding that I already had, but just adding in a few more layers so we can get that textured, layered, really cozy look. I love bringing in a quilt, layering on top a big duvet. I'm actually using a king size duvet on this double bed so that you get extra blankets and it just makes it even cozier and layering in some textured throw blankets. Now let's finish this space off with little decor pieces, greenery, vases, and all the little details that really pull the whole space together. All the finishing touches are in and looking around this room right now, I can't even believe it. It looks so drastically different than what we started with. It's so dramatic, it's so beautiful and cozy and warm and elegant, and it looks super luxurious and it's totally not. So as I said, Christian hasn't seen it yet. He's out of the house right now, but as soon as he comes home, we're gonna reveal this space to him and see what he thinks of our brand new guest room. Okay, you remember what the guest room looked like before? Yes. All white. Plain mm -hmm. IKEA bed. A little boring. A little boring, yeah. yeah. On the count of three, <laughs> you can lift up your eye mask. One, two, three. <laughs> this is the best one you've ever done. I need to like, hold on, I need to like walk into the room and just. Yeah, like... walk in. Ta da! Whoa. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm literally blown away by this. You hid I the hit cords the cord. so noticed. well. I literally just picked that up now. They're dimmable Bring lights. Up. So these all dim down. And did you notice I painted the wall outlet too? So everything blends Oh, in. I just saw that. the coolest things. Oh, These, yay, I'm glad you like it. Look, so it's battery so powered cool. and chargeable. So you can unhook it from the wall and charge it. And you just add some more layers. This feels like a hotel room. Right? The wall came out so nice the too. The wall is the color, so nice. The carpet with the wall, the color of the floor, everything blend so well. Yeah, and Christian, this is the same bed. Can you believe that? I did it. Can I feel it? Yeah, it's cushiony and linen. Here, closet. right? The gold yes. closet was already there. So, because the closet was already gold, adding more gold in around the room just like made it look like, oh, it's supposed to be like that, and it's nice. Doesn't it kind of feel like you're in some like European countryside? Yes. 
Absolutely. Another storybook moment. Absolutely. I didn't buy any new furniture. We literally already had the bench, yep. already had the ladder, already had all the furniture. So it's all about decorating and painting and like bringing it all together like that. And I love the lights, like the way they hit the wall and how you can actually see the paneling now that it's painted. Yeah. Yay. Isn't it so pretty? So good. Can you even believe this room transformation? I'm still in shock. I just love this room so much. Everywhere you look, there's something pretty to see. It just feels like a boutique hotel. This is what Hotel Kristen would look like. The Benjamin Moore Fox Hollow Brown worked out so well. It just makes everything pop, makes this whole room feel really cozy and moody. So thank you so much again to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video. I love the results and the dramatic wall totally pulled this whole design together. Anyways, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of this huge room transformation. Is there anything in this room that inspires you to make changes in your home? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Next up, we are doing the primary bedroom. So stay tuned for that. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.